yearly log annual log future log year at a glance whatever you prefer to call is a method of planning our entire year in just few pages this usually goes in the beginning of our bullet journal here we can keep track of important dates appointments events tasks goals and many more that are going to happen in that particular year in this video i am going to show you five minimal and effective yearly log layouts so without any further ado let's get started this is the most minimal yearly log layout which requires two blank spreads for this we need to divide each page into three vertical columns on top of each column goes the name of the month and below that we need to put all dates vertically like a serial number Beside each date goes the initial letter of the respective day like for Monday M Tuesday T and so on and then the reminders goes next to the respective date putting the same thing over and over might seem a bit repetitive and overwhelming in the beginning but you only have to do this just once a year and also our enthusiasm for new year and new journal will easily get us through this This is what I personally use in my bullet journal. I have shown this in my bullet journal setup video. If you have already watched that, you can skip this to the next layout. For this, I'm going to split up each page into three vertical sections. On top of each section goes the name of the month. Below that goes a calendar. After the calendar, I'm going to put the dates like a serial number beside which goes the important dates and reminders. For this layout we need to divide each page into three horizontal columns. On one side of the column goes the name of the month and its respective calendar. In the remaining part of the column goes the reminders along with its respective date. You can also draw a line between the tasks and calendar if you like to. For this we need to divide each page into 6 horizontal columns. This is also a great layout to save paper because unlike the previous 3 layouts this layout needs just one blank spread. On the side of each column particularly goes the name of the month. This is because the columns are small where a calendar needs to fit in. Beside the name goes the calendar. In the remaining part goes reminders. You can also split up the calendars and reminders with a vertical line or just let it be. For this layout I'm going to divide each page into 3 vertical columns and then into 4 horizontal columns splitting up each page into 12 boxes. In each box goes the name of the month followed by the calendar. This way I'm going to put the calendars for all the 12 months in just one page. And in the next page I'm going to put the reminders. For this you can put the name of the month on top of each box or just put reminders in accordance to the calendar's page. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to Start of Mini. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.